What's going on you guys and welcome back to the A-Ray Show. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a free way to track your dividends. Yes, I said free. It does have some premium features, but the free features is all you really need. If you're like me and you just want to track your dividends, see how much you're up on certain stocks, how much you're going to be getting paid in the future, and kind of just help yourself know exactly where you stand in your dividend portfolio. So with that being said, stay tuned and cue that intro. All right, so this is the Track Your Dividends platform. It's simply on trackyourdividends.com. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys wanna check it out. It's super easy to use, it's completely free. You can just type in trackyourdividends.com, put your email, password, and sign up. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check it out as well. And guys, just a quick disclaimer, I'm not affiliated with them, I don't get anything for it. I just simply wanna show you guys what I use and hopefully help you guys in your dividend journey. So with that being said, let's take a look at this platform and kind of discuss the goods and the bads about this platform. So before we get started, I want to let you guys know that I already did a video on this platform. I'll leave a link right up here if you guys want to check it out. The reason why I'm making another video is because they updated their UI, added a bunch more tools, and kind of just revolutionized their platform in a whole. And that's one thing I like about Tracker Dividends. This platform has done this two times now since I've been using it and it's been a great experience just because each time they added more and more content and more and more tools to kind of help you track your dividends and grow your portfolio. So that being said, that's one thing I really love about this platform. So if you guys want to check out that video is going to be there as well. But in this video, we're just going to kind of breeze through things. We're not going to go too much detail like that video and we're just going to keep it simple. So just taking a look at it at face value, it's super simple and straightforward. You got your account value up here and then you can see you've got summary, dividend portfolio and add account. So this is my personal portfolio over here. I named a dividend portfolio. You can add a bunch more, but you can only link one with your original account. So I linked this dividend portfolio over here with M1 Finance. So that's how I got that. And I just named a dividend portfolio. As you can see, I linked it over here. And then it's been updated on May 19th, 2021. So that's one thing I don't like is that you have to keep constantly updating it as you guys just saw plaid over there. And it's honestly a little bit annoying, but it's so much easier than what I was doing before. Every time I had a buy order, I would just manually go in and insert it. So it is what it is, but that's one thing about this platform that is a little bit annoying. But other than that, it's super easy. All you got to do is just update it every once in a while and then you're good. It just completely updates everything. So that's that with linking. There's also the dividend yield right up here. So you can see your current dividend yield. This is something that some other platforms don't show you what your current dividend yield is. They don't show you your yield on cost, your annual income and your portfolio beta. And these four tools over here are honestly the most important things when it comes to building your dividend account. So that's one thing I really love about this platform, especially this annual income. It's one of the coolest things about your dividend portfolio and about this platform. So below that, you've got all your stocks over here. So you can see you can sort it by ticker symbol, the amount of shares you have, the highest and lowest, price, change, average cost, profit loss, dividend yield, yield on cost, annual income, which is probably the coolest one. You can see Abby is paying me the most at $6.20 a year. And then Disney the lowest because right now they don't have a dividend. And then right after that is my ETF for video games at $0.17. Cents, and then SBGI at $0.64. Cents. And then this is a premium feature right here. It's the dividend safety, and that's in their opinion, of course. But again, this is pretty much all you really need for the free benefits. And honestly, it's pretty much all you need for tracking your dividends. So that's just pretty much as simple as it gets. You just have all your stocks and the basic stats about it. And that's as simple as it is. And in all honesty, that's pretty much all you really need when it comes down to understanding your portfolio with its annual income, yield on cost, and dividend yield, and pretty much all of that. But they do have a bunch of more added features, which I consider a plus. So if we go right next to the dashboard, we got diversification. And with diversification, you can see it, the diversification by sectors or by industry. So other than that, you can see that you can break it down by diversification. So you can see I've got 42 holdings. My largest holding is Apple at 5.3%. The smallest is 0%. I don't know why it says that, but you know. It is what it is. Then we've got the largest sector, technology. You can go around, spin the wheel. So the smallest would be Cisco at 1% looks like. And you kind of just see what my allocations are, which is another cool thing. You can do it by income diversification. So I got 40 stocks that pay me out a dividend out of the 42 holdings that I have. 
Uh, AT&T is at 7.2%, which is the highest yield. And by the way, guys, I'll do a video on AT&T if they're going to cut their dividend or not. So stay tuned. And that's probably going to come next week, I'm hoping. So if you guys want to see that, stay tuned, subscribe, leave a like on this content, leave a comment, do whatever it is. But most importantly, just subscribe so you guys can see more of my videos. If you guys enjoy my content, and I really do appreciate that, by the way. But yeah, back to the video. Of course, we got the largest income, Avi at $6, which honestly is really cool. I like seeing which companies are going to pay me out more and which companies are growing their dividend higher. And then you can even see your stock sector exposure. So we've got the cyclical at 28%, defensive at 23.5%, sensitive at 27 and then other. So right now, they you can get crypto, which I don't have inside of my dividend portfolio. I wish M1 Finance would allow you to get some crypto. Maybe one day if they have you know, like a crypto fund or an ETF, then maybe I'll invest into that. And then we've got like, you know, ETFs and stuff like that. So just another way to kind of break it down. So you can see the individual holdings. And I'm just going to quickly go through this. You got, like I said before, you guys can completely sign up for free. But other than that, these are just my personal holdings. And I think it's really cool the way it works. This is just like one other added feature that I really like. And then I'll just break it down in industry too, just so you guys can kind of see. Um, these are all the stocks that I own. So we're on the upcoming dividends now, and you can see these are my expected dividends. So of course, they can't really foresee when a company is going to increase their dividend. So it just kind of gives you the consistent amount. So right now in May is $5, and then it goes on to $10 in June, $4 in July. And this is just my own personal dividend portfolio. Of course, your guys is going to look different. You guys can set dividend alerts, which is really cool as well. That's how you use you your highest paid month at $10. So that for me would be June september december march so pretty much every third month of the year and then we got the lowest so these months over here and then you can also see the stock payout calendar and this is a new feature that they added and honestly i think it's really cool i like to know exactly when i get paid right now it doesn't really matter for me because i'm still building my portfolio but if i'm closer to retirement or if i am in retirement and living off my dividends this would be so sick because you could basically see when your next paycheck is going to be and they literally have a confirmed dividend calendar for you which is something that they didn't have before it just will let you know if the dividend was confirmed or not but now they have a whole calendar and there's one thing I really like about this platform. They're pretty cool. They're super chill and it's super easy to use. It's not like super complicated. You can export this. So if you're totally living off your dividends, you could be chilling in retirement just watching this calendar. And that would honestly be super cool. So we're going to hop over to future value. And this is one of my own personal favorite features about this platform. So the reason why this is my favorite part is because it gives you so much insight if you're still building your portfolio and kind of want to figure out in what direction you're going to go towards in the future. So in my opinion, the biggest stat or the coolest stat is this five-year dividend growth rate. So mine is at 7.7%. So if you're still building your portfolio and you want to grow your dividends at a higher rate, this number right here is really beneficial. If this was lower, you probably want to add more growth stocks. And if this is way too high, then you kind of might want to know exactly what your retirement date is or your target retirement date is. And then of course we've got ending annual income. So this is if I don't add a single dollar. So if I don't add a single dollar, my portfolio value would be in 2030 to uh, $6,015 and the annual income is $233. And this is what the expected 7.7% dividend growth rate in five years. So uh, again, guys, a really cool feature, something that I really like with, you can filter how many years. So in 25 years, this same portfolio would be about $21,580. And then an annual income of $2,158. But that's if I don't add anything at all. So now we can say that I add. So right now I add about $75 every single year. We can say I'm going to do that consistently throughout my life and do that at $3,900. So I think that's 75 times 52. I don't know. You guys can double check my math. Let me know in the comments below. And then the price appreciation. So usually stocks go about six to eight percent. Um, yeah, it even says it right over here, which is really cool. So we're just gonna put a cool seven to kind of be moderate. And then my maximum dividend yield. I didn't even know that was here. Uh, caps of dividend yield. Yeah, we'll just leave that. We'll keep it whatever stock it is. All right, so let's take a look at what it updates it at. So you can see my projected balance is around $629,000 with an increase of over 15,000%, which is huge. And if you take a look at 2045, 
you can see that my annual income would be $62,000 and my portfolio value at $629,000. That would be good enough to retire. One thing that I have a gripe against is that it only lets you project about 25 years out, which kind of sucks. So if you are looking for a 30 to 45 year timeline, then you probably wouldn't be able to see that. So this only allows me to go, so right now I'm 23, only allows me to go until I'm about 48. So if I wanted to see how it looked when I'm 50, 55, 60, I couldn't really see that. There are a bunch of other platforms or websites that you use to project your balance, but in terms of this platform, that's as far as it lets you go. And this is kind of a topic for a different video, but I doubt my dividend growth rate is gonna stay at 7.7% .7 forever. So that's just something to consider that these projections aren't going to be 100% accurate. And guys, like I said before, you guys can completely sign up for free with this platform. I'll leave a link in the description. So you guys can adjust and customize this however you'd like to cater to your needs and expectations. So that's pretty much all there is for the free benefits on this platform. If we take a look at research, this is the paid and premium services. So if we look at stock analysis, and sorry guys, my computer's a little slow, so it might take a little while. You can get some stuff, but you won't really be able to get popularity of different stocks. So as you guys can see, access not allowed. And then if we take a look at the upgrade, it's about $6 a month or $60 a year, which isn't a whole lot. But like I said before, guys, unlimited dividend tracking, multiple portfolio support, and all those features that I just showed you guys all for free. So that's why I like this platform. If you guys want to start your dividend portfolio and your dividend investing, Definitely think this is one of the better ones that you guys can get for free. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are thinking about signing up for this platform. If you guys got any benefit or any value out of this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I got you guys. You guys can email me, hit me up on Instagram, whatever works. And guys, please, please, please subscribe. It means a lot. I'm trying to get to 100 followers or subscribers, whatever you want to call it. Almost there. So... That being said, guys, appreciate you guys. And guys, remember, everybody eats.